this is a great opportunity for us to brag a little bit about the work that Jose has done. Anyone who knows Lula knows that Jose has uh, contributed tens of thousands of hours as a volunteer doing uh, music programming for Jose, but also for Jose, for Lula, but also at, um, doing the the graphic work for Lula. He's the artist behind Lula's unique uh, graphic look, and uh, that takes a, a lot of his time. Um, but Jose has also contributed many things outside of Lula. He has been invited uh, to be an advisor on the um, Harbour Front's Read Moe Calor advisory panel. And he's done work for Salsa and St. Clair, Samba and Dundas, and many other projects outside of Lula's walls. Um, so uh, we just want to celebrate all of that work that he's done. Under Jose's leadership, we've seen Lula evolve into a very vibrant cultural space that welcomes diverse cultural communities and supports a wide range of community building and educational activities. We often joke that we're actually more of a community center than a nightclub, and that, that really does feel true. Um, running Lula has brought us to the understanding of how important it is to have accessible and affordable spaces for artists to try out projects, um, try out new things and develop their artistic visions and also to develop audiences. So we want to thank all of you for helping us to create the space uh, that is Lula. We're having a great time running it and we hope to be able to run it for many, many years. Uh, we also want to take this opportunity to thank the staff here at Lula. Um, you're just so fantastic. and back of house. There's so many times when I tell you things at the last minute. Oh, tonight is a little bit different. And so uh, you just are always ready to run with things. Down. And so now since it's actually Jose that won the award, I'd like to ask him to come up and say a few words. Thank you very much, everybody, for being here. I'm not used to being on this side of the microphone, so it's really weird, but I feel comfortable because I know everybody in the room and your friends and family. Um, first, I'm, I'm going to thank some people. Tracy wrote it down for me so I don't forget. This is kind of the role that we play here. Uh, our partner, Jose, is in a meeting somewhere because it was an emergency. Um, so if you know us, that's the way it works. Um, okay, so first I'm going to thank the Toronto Arts Foundation. I'm, I'm only reading it so that I don't forget. Um, the Wright Thompson Hall, the Ontario Arts Council, and Tourism Ontario for recognizing that the artists of Lula are contributing to the cultural vibrancy of the province. Uh, Jose Neves, who is always ready to help out with whatever needs um, come up and, uh, and always is up for an emergency like he is right now. Um, you didn't need to write this one down. Tracy wrote down my mom. But um, <laughs> just in case I forget, but my mom. Definitely she's right over there. I'd love to thank also Tracy, where, where are you? She, said, she deserves, she deserves a, you know, a standing ovation, whatever, whatever we can, we can give her. Because without Tracy, this place just does not run. It doesn't matter how many great ideas um, we have collectively, musicians, projects, things that come in. Um, none of it would happen without, without Tracy being the, the kind... Uh, warm-hearted, a generous person that she is, and she's able to welcome us. Yes. Absolutely. She is the glue that keeps this place together. So, uh, with, with having said that, um, the three of us are like this team, and then comes the staff, which, like Tracy said, I'd like to echo that, are just incredible. It's just, I think we have some of the most um, intense, intelligent, engaged staff in the city of Toronto. Uh, these guys are smart. They, they, they can talk to you about almost anything. And, you know, I, I think a testament to the synergy, the, the chemistry that we have 
is that we also, they, they tend to stay for a long time. Uh, sometimes we have staff here for years, two, three years. Uh, Manuel, who started here on day one, still works here sometimes, uh, eight years later. And I think it's a relationship that goes beyond staff and, and whatever else. I think it's a family. I think they see what, what's happening here. They believe in it. We believe in them, and, and they believe in us. Um, and I think that that shows when the artists come in, the, the way the artists are treated. Um, I don't want to single anybody out just because it's too many, too much staff, but the way Howard handles them, um, you know, they feel respected, taken care of. So I think all of that is part of the culture that is cultivated here at Lula by everybody, collectively. Um, I appreciate that, that I received the award, but by no means do I think that, you know, that, that this is my award. This is ours, this is ours. Um, and, with, and with that, I, there's the staff, there's the musicians. Um, you know, without them, we're not here. That's why we're here. And the incredible relationships that we've established with the musicians for eight years has just been amazing. And it all started with one conversation with Luisito Orbegoso, who's not here either right now because he's at a rehearsal. Um, and it was just one of those things where I said, Luis, Luisito, can we organize a jazz jam? And he took care of the musicians, and I we tried to take care of all the other stuff. And that conversation has prompted so many nights, so many so many amazing relationships. Um, and it, it's, a, it's a conversation that's still continuing. We still work out ideas and projects, things that they want to do, things that we want to do together. Um, and I, I feel that the, the musical community has accepted Lula not as a venue or as, or as a place that hires musicians, but I think as a, as a creative collaborator in the whole process of creating music in creating culture in this town right now. Um, and, I, and I think it's, it's exciting to, to be part of that because this, what we're experiencing here, and you are a part of that, is new Canadian culture. It's new Canadian music. It's new Canadian content. And we're seeing the birth of it. We're seeing, you know, it, it arrives. You know, uh, one week you'll have an incredible trumpet player arrive from Cuba. You have so many people just come in and they add to the pot and they want to contribute. And they're excited to be in Toronto. And we're just more than happy to, to try to find a place for them, try to connect with them in, into the community. I'm sorry I'm talking too much. There's, there's just too many things. There's just too many things that, that I could probably talk about. Um, the last one is the audience. Um, many of you are, are, are friends that started out as audience people coming in here and seeing shows. We've connected, um, and I think if, if you're here often enough, you've seen a lot of shows, uh, you become family. And I think that's what we've all become, the audience, the musicians, the staff. Our, our family that, that celebrates culture, celebrates the things that are good in this place in, in Toronto, and um, and enjoy having a space to, to, to do that in. Um, and for that, I thank I thank you. I thank uh, the people of Toronto um, and the people that, that support Lula Lounge, the the arts councils. Um, anyway, it's it's it goes on and on. But thank you very much. And here's a toast to you. Thank you all for coming. Ciao, everybody. Thank you.